If you're servicing air brakes and you're having trouble finding the leaks, there is a nano air brake leak detector. Uh, you're just going to love this, and that's coming right up. Hi, welcome to Wrenching Up, where we tackle the problems and demonstrate the procedures that you, our customers, ask us about. And today, it's about finding leaks in air brakes. This is Alex Parker, and she's with Redline Detection. She knows all about this. So Alex, how does this thing work? I know it's new. Uh, I have not seen it before, so tell us a little bit about how it works. Thanks for asking, Jim. Here's the really exciting thing about this. Until now, there hasn't been a technology for pinpointing air brake leaks that can be really troublesome in both tractors and trailers. So with this equipment, it literally, in one minute, gives a green, red pass or fail so that you know whether that vehicle has an air brake leak that would cause it to be red tagged by the DOT. Yeah, you know, th that really sounds like a commercial, but, but I know that this thing works really well and you've covered the, the part. So tell us, uh, how, how do we use this? Sure. So it's really easy to hook up. It takes about two minutes. Hook up with the glad hands. There's a place for compressed air, depending on whether you're using a tractor or trailer, testing a tractor or trailer. And the machine really guides you through the steps. So there's a you know, LED screen here that tells you just what to do, mm -hmm. what to push. It tells you when it's compressing the system. It really does take just one minute once it's hooked up to give you that pass or fail. And that really tells the technician whether they need to go further or not, right? So. If there's a tiny minuscule leak, they say, you know, it may say, you're good to go, go ahead. As we know, little leaks over rough wear and tear on the road become bigger problems. So the next time it's tested, you know, they may need more attention. If it says, yes, you've got a leak that would fail DOT standards and possibly have a red tagged vehicle, then it walks the technician through how to pressurize the system. It uses a signature air with a very tiny molecule and then it's possible to use, let me show you right here, a sniffer that's very much like people use in testing air conditioning systems, right? To go throughout the system and actually pinpoint the leak to the exact location. So it takes about one minute to tell you whether you have a leak or not and 10 minutes to pinpoint the leak 100%. Wow, so this thing, you basically, you turn it on, it, 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 it steps you through the procedure of getting the thing pressurized, and then it tells you whether you have a leak or not, and then if you do, then we follow the procedures that you just showed us to pinpoint exactly where that leak is. And I understand that this thing is so accurate, it can tell you exactly where, or in this case, which solenoid is actually leaking. That is pretty yes. outstanding. Total time, 10 minutes. Total time, and here's the thing, it's so foolproof, we really wanted to create a piece of equipment that it's not difficult to use. The least experienced technician in the shop can go around and test every tractor and every trailer and then leave the repair to the more experienced technician. So it's a big time saver getting trucks back out on the road, maximizing uptime. Uh, yeah, I can see that. And I think that this really, um, shows us that you need to check this out a little bit further. So we're going to put the uh, contact information in the metadata down below so you can check out the you know, red line detection and uh, look for this product on their site. And I'll tell you what, if you guys are working on uh, big trucks and you're having trouble finding leaks in these air brake systems, I think you're going to be glad you checked this out.